I'm Dennis Stratton. For the last two years, working on starting up a new organic farm, market farm business called Anya Farms. So I'm owner, co-owner, and founder with my wife Sue. It was just neat to read Jean's novels, like. Oh, this is kind of a Stratton thing, maybe. You know, it's like I'm not the odd one in the family. I always thought I kind of was because I didn't want to be in the big city and didn't want to do the you know, engineering job that I trained for and wanted to go back and get a forestry degree. And so I'm a you know, trained forester and I like farming. So it's like nice to be on the land and be able to talk about it again. And then having a platform of a you know, first cousin, you know, four generations removed, that voiced a lot of ideas that were run, rattling around in my own head. I've always been interested in farming, I guess. That, that kind of goes back to, I mean, when I from 11 years old, worked on a farm, small dairy farm, and also did produce and um, fruits. So I spent, well, from 11 years old on up to 18 working on a farm. And I went on to college and kind of got away from it, but always had a garden. You know, I always wanted to get some land, and we lived in places like California and Montana where an acre of land was out of question to buy like 40 of them or 20 or 10 even. Getting to know Jean and her writings and trying to understand the connection, how we're relatives, uh, got me to think, well, if I care about this relative, I had to care about all my relatives, so I started to get into genealogy a bit. And just this weekend, just yesterday, I know where my great-grandfather and great-great-grandfather are buried, and they're real near my grandfather, who are all farmers. On Monday, coming up, we're going to go to Wayne County, Ohio, and that'll be my great-great-great-great-grandfather's farm. So it was like Stratton and we're farmers from before the revolution. Of all the things I've done, you know, it's like I've worked aboard nuclear submarines doing navigation equipment to make sure we can get a bomb from anywhere in the ocean to some place else on the planet. That was not a particularly fulfilling part of my life. And to think I can grow and sell something that's good for me and good for my customer is just very fulfilling and then looking back at a family history and that story and then having a son that's interested in it also and just thinking it's an important part of our lives. Daily we come in contact with food if we're healthy living beings and how little importance we often place on it. We often kind of rele relegate that to the least paid, least highly looked on part of our society. And it should be, I guess, lifted up to uh, this is important to us. We care about our food. We don't want it just a mechanical assembly line system any longer. To think that, you know, farming was a serious business and you could do it on a smaller amount of land. I mean, the farmer I worked for, he had 160 acres and he was struggling, but he was trying to do everything the way that, uh, say, the state extension would have you raise apples or cherries and you know the spray regime and having to have a lot of inputs to grow anything. So you pretty much would grow bo broke uh, going up to the feed store buying chemicals to put on your crops. And I think that's what needs to change to allow the local foods to be grown again is the idea that we can grow foods. We used to grow it all through human history without every chemical company involved in the process. I guess what I'm doing and what Jean would have seen done on her father's farm are probably very much the same. I mean, we're concerned about how things are grown and how, I guess, the total environment works together, that we're not just trying to pick and choose a piece out and you know, go, this is the most important thing, so we're going to grow this many bushels per acre to maximize that. We're trying to say the soil is important, the runoff from the property is important, what ends up downstream, 
what the soil health is after my lifetime's over with is important.